Hi everyone, Jonathan Chan here. I am a recent medical graduate from the UP College of Medicine. And I'm here just to talk about a pearl on genetics. This is talking about autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, X-linked dominant, and X-linked recessive inherited diseases. Usually this comes out in exams, but it's actually one of those questions that are hard to get because even if you've seen them before, it's hard to consolidate and memorize all of those diseases that are passed on via these mechanisms. So here's a sample question. Which of the following is not an autosomal dominant disease? Is it G6PD deficiency, Marfan syndrome, retinoblastoma, or von Willebrand disease? In this discussion, I won't really be talking about the diseases. I'm assuming that you either know it or you are going to take the boards in the future and you'll have ample time to learn about the disease later on. This is meant as a quick and easy way to remember the diseases via a song, okay? So let's start with uh, a short discussion, right? So there are four main types of modes of inheritance, and you'll probably see these in uh, multiple choice options, no? So autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, X-linked dominant, and X-linked recessive. If you're going to choose, like, r randomly, it's probably not going to be X-linked dominant. Why is that the case? Because X-linked dominant, these are very rare. And usually, for the purposes of exams, there's just two diseases that you have to remember. These would be Alport syndrome and Fragile X. So Alport syndrome, Fragile X. You can remember that by saying XDAF, right? A XDAF, that's going to be X-linked dominant, that's Alport syndrome, and Fragile X. Then, we're going to be talking about autosomal dominant. So, autosomal dominant and X-linked recessive via song, okay? And if they're not found in the song, okay, they're probably going to be autosomal recessive. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So here is the uh, diseases which are transmitted via autosomal dominant mechanism. I actually got this idea from a video posted by Dirty Medicine a uh, few years back, but I expanded to include a couple more diseases okay, and changed the lyrics up a bit to make it rhyme a bit better. So let's sing it. This is going to be to the tune of row, row, row your boat. Okay, so Von, Von, ALS, RBMEN, Tubes and Spheres in Huntington, Marfan, Ellers, Dan, Con, Con, Cholesterol, Osler, Weber, Ren, Do, Leave from any dystrophy, please remember B, NF1 and 2, please don't fap too much, Autosomal Dominant, yes, this song is clutch. Hey, okay, so uh, one good thing about the song is that the mode of inheritance is present in the lyrics, so you'll probably don't need to <laughs> remember it as much, you know? So uh, you won't be having a mnemonic that you don't know, remember the meaning of, right? So let's uh, dissect these individual diseases. So what's uh, these von von, right? So von, this would be uh, von Willebrand disease, right? So von Willebrand disease would be autosomal dominant, as well as von Hippel-Lindau. Okay, so von Hippel-Lindau, that's autosomal dominant. ALS, ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or also known as uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. This is the disease famously, uh, or a disease which famously afflicted Stephen Hawking. RB, which is the gene encoding for retinoblastoma. So this cancer is uh, transmitted autosomal dominantly. Then we have the MEN. So this is the multiple endocrine neoplasias. There's uh, MEN1, 2A, and 2B. Those are autosomal dominant as well. Tubes. Uh, this would refer to tuberous sclerosis. Okay. Spheres would just refer to hereditary. Hereditary. Spherocytosis. And Huntington's disease, this is uh, a neuro disease. 
that's transmitted uh, excellent, uh, autosomal dominantly. Uh, this is one of those uh, trinucleotide repeat disorders. Next, we have Marfan, Marfan syndrome, and Ehlers-Danlos. Take note that Ehlers-Danlos, uh, there's different types of Ehlers-Danlos. Most of them would be autosomal dominant except for uh, type 6, which is autosomal recessive. But I guess for the purposes of uh, exams, you just have to remember that Ehlers-Danlos is autosomal dominant. So next, we have CON. So uh, actually, I think a better uh, spelling of this would be double N because I'm referring here to CON syndrome. Uh, in particular, familial hyperaldosteronism type 2 is autosomal dominant. And the CON here, or the CON, the con is just referring to achondroplasia. So this is achondroplasia. A leading cause of dwarfism. Cholesterol here is just referring to familiar, uh, familial hypercholesterolemia. osler weber rendu this is a, a bit of a rare disease, but this is hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. That's osler weber rendu Lifraumeni. Lifraumeni is a disease in DNA repair which affects, uh, which affects P53. And dystrophy. So this particular dystrophy uh, refers to myotonic muscular dystrophy. So uh, myotonic muscular dystrophy. The other forms of dystrophy would have a different inheritance as we will see later. NF1, okay, so this is neurofibromatosis type 1, also known as von Recklinghausen disease, right? as well as its uh, NF2, right? NF2 is neurofibromatosis type 2, is also autosomal dominant. FAP here, or FAP, will just refer to uh, familial adenomatous, adenomatous polyposis. Okay. So, uh, familial, uh, familial adenomatous polyposis uh, is also one of those diseases uh, similar to Lifraumeni. And these are autosomal dominant transmitted as well. And the last part of the song is just to help you remember that these are autosomal dominant uh, diseases. The next would be the X-linked recessive diseases. This is to the tune of the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So, let's get into it. The Otsy Bitsy Hunter's name was Lesh Fabry. He shot the manky wasp in G6P. Up came Bruton, what a douche was he. A and B are X-linked, don't forget the I. Okay, so what are these diseases? So these diseases, the first one, uh, Otsy, this would be Ornithine Transcarbamylase Deficiency. This is uh, actually a, a disease that you will be encountering a lot when you discuss metabolism okay? and when we discuss like the metabolic pathways themselves. Hunters. So uh, here, these would be uh, one of those diseases also that's uh, transmitted via X-linked recessive, Leshnihan syndrome, uh, as well as Fabry's disease. Those are uh, all X-linked transmitted. Menke's disease, which is uh, a disease which uh, a disease of copper, right? So if Wilson's disease is uh, copper accumulation, this is like a lock, lack of copper, right? So Menke's, Menke's syndrome. Uh, WASP would just refer to Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome. So Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome, uh, one of those uh, diseases in the immune system. G6P, one of the most common uh, genetic diseases out there. So G6PD, G6PD deficiency. Although it's actually, I think for the purpose of the lyrics, better to just say G6P. Uh, up came Bruton. So Bruton is Bruton agammaglobulinemia, which is also a disease of the immune system. Okay. Douche, uh, which this would refer to Duchenne. Duchenne and Becker. 
Becker muscular dystrophy. So, it's one of those dystrophies. Remember, we talked about uh, the dystrophy here. This is a myotonic muscular dystrophy. Here, Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy. I think Duchenne is the frame shift mutation. Uh, and Becker is a bit milder. I think uh, the USM, uh, first aid for the USMLE said, uh, has a mnemonic for this, which says Becker is better than Duchenne. Uh, a and B. So these ones would just refer to hemophilia. So hemophilia A and hemophilia B. On the top of my head, right, hemophilia A uh, is a deficiency or like, uh, a disease of factor 8. And hemophilia B would be on factor 9. X-linked, so just to remember that these are X-linked recessive diseases. And don't forget DI, which is uh, diabetes insipidus. So diabetes insipidus is also transmitted via uh, X-linked recessive. Okay? So now that we have the songs, we can answer this question. So, which of the following is not an autosomal dominant disease? So, G6PD is not an autosomal dominant disease because, as we mentioned earlier, G6PD from the song is X-linked recessive. Uh, Marfan syndrome, retinoblastoma, von Willebrand disease are all, okay, there I wrote them in red, are all autosomal dominant uh, diseases. Okay, so just to review, okay, so we know G6P here. Uh, G6P is X-linked recessive. Okay. And here are the other uh, diseases that we talked about. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. I hope that helped. Uh, this is coming in clutch for uh, our, our batch of takers this month for the board exams, but I hope I am able to get you guys a point or two.